Hi, everyone. It's great to have you back. One of the requirements in my professional work is that I have to travel a lot. As a result, I've been able to travel all over the world. Now, you might wonder if I'm complaining. Hardly. <laughs> it's never been a case that I have to travel, but that I get to. I love having the world as part of my backyard. Most of my miles have been logged within the United States, but I've been able to venture outside the boundaries of our country enough to get a good look at the globe we live on. In my travels, I've been surprised how often I've been able to pass by one of the famous Olympic stadiums that has served as a stage for the international game sometime in the past. Darcy and I even stood in a stadium in Athens that played host to the first Olympic Games of the modern era. I enjoyed the chance to look at a piece of real estate that once was venue for the finest athletes the world could produce. On the occasions when I had the benefit of a local guide or a talkative cab driver, my first question was always the same. Where did they position the Olympic flame? It's easier for me to picture the hundreds of thousands of people in the stands and the world-class athletes on the field once I've oriented myself to the flame. In fact, it's impossible to envision the Olympics apart from that flame. It's a symbol. It stands like a fiery sentinel guarding the competition. It's like a torchlight shining out to a longing world inviting them to put aside their conflicts at least for a brief few weeks and pull up a seat. <laughs> wow, you are really getting into this story. <laughs> but I know why you're going there. It's a way of introducing this session on grandparenting. We've been looking at specific roles we play in our grandchildren's lives. We've learned that one of them is to be the kind of grandparents who pass on a sense of blessing to their grandchildren. A second role we play in their lives is to live and leave a good legacy. The third role we want to talk about in this session is to be a torchbearer for our grandchildren, a steady light that illuminates their paths. That's where the analogy of the Olympic flame comes in.